I call this Scranton ball. How to throw and shoot a ball for kids. What you're going to need for this game is a bucket, a duct tape to make a square on your house, and a small basketball hoop. If you don't have a basketball hoop like that, you could use a different bucket to use. Um, you could even get out a piece of furniture, a table, small table, put a bin on top of it, and use it, use it that way as a basketball hoop. For throwing like a baseball, you want to aim with your shoulder. My shoulder's facing my target, taking a step towards my target, turning my, rotating my body as I throw it, aiming for that square, okay? For this one, we're going to do an underhand throw. An underhand throw is the same thing as an overhand throw. That's overhand, right? Underhand is underhand. You do the same thing. You take your step towards your target. I'm aiming with my shoulder, and you're trying to make it in there. That's what that white bucket down there is for. And I have a basketball hoop right there. And for basketball, what you're going to do when you have a, a bag of balls is you're going to be shooting, not like a real basketball. In a real basketball, you want to have the ball in your palm like this, hand on the side, and you're bending your knees as you shoot and having the ball roll off your fingertips. Now, since this is not a real basketball hoop, we're going to be throwing like a basketball. We're going to be rolling it off the fingertips, but you don't necessarily you have to use this balance hand to play this game. So we're going to try switching from bucket to wall to basket, and you're, you're going to keep going until you run out of balls. You're going to go get them, bring it back to where you started, and keep going. Okay, that's the game for today. So this one's an underhand, step towards my target, throw one. I missed, that's okay. I go to the next one. Aiming, throwing. Next one, basketball hoop. It doesn't matter, I still have a football right here. I'm gonna shoot just like I'm playing basketball. Bend your knees and roll it off your fingertips. When I shoot, I'm gonna be rolling it off my fingertips just like real basketball. But it's much lower, isn't it? So I'm, you don't really need necessarily need to balance it like a real basketball. We're just gonna practice throwing and moving and getting physical activity for this game. Starting off with the round ball. Underhand, step towards the target, try to make it in. That's okay if you don't make it. For this next one, I like to use the football shaped balls. It doesn't matter what you have. Okay, next one. Just like basketball. I'm not that good at it though. Just switching back and forth. Oh, there's a round one for my basketball hoop. <laughs> oh gosh, I gotta, I gotta make one. <laughs> there we go. Underhand, throwing, basketball. It doesn't matter the order in which you do it, you just want activity and moving around. Oh, underhand for that bucket. There we go, I made one. <clears throat> this one I'm rolling it off my fingertips like I would as I, if I were shooting a real basketball. You can practice that way as well.
when you've used all your balls, go pick them up, bring them back to the bucket, and keep going. All right, round two. Keep going, underhand for the bucket, for the square you're throwing, and for the basketball hoop you're shooting and kind of flicking with your fingers. Underhand. The technique for that basketball throw is, it's kind of like a baseball throw, but instead of throwing like a baseball, you're going to be pushing off with your fingers that way, and you're aiming for the square on the basketball hoop. All right, after you're done playing, you pick them up and you can play this game as long as you want. Today we learned how to throw a ball, like a baseball, how to underhand throw, and how to shoot a basketball. If we were playing on a real basketball court, there'd be more technique involved, but since we're playing on a basketball hoop that's much smaller, we're using a different technique. Thanks for joining. My name is Ryan Montgomery. Um, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you want to keep seeing video ideas like this so that you can use for your kids at home.